Hi, I'm Miss Tara from Fox Valley Flourish Twirling Club. And so far, our videos have all been about things that are on our checklists for the evaluations for the classes that we teach. Those are not the only twirling skills. If I listed every single thing in the beginner and novice level, we could be at that level for a very long time. So I picked just the most important things for our checklist. So let's go over a few things that aren't on the checklist but are still very good to know and are perfect for those who are just starting out. First thing we're gonna concentrate on, we've got lots of different kinds of shoulder passes and shoulder rolls. So let's start with some of those. We're gonna start with our baton down at the side, just like when we start for our basic strut. First shoulder pass, we're gonna go with the easiest one. You're gonna reach up that left hand like you're gonna wave. You're gonna bring your baton in front of your body. Slide it about halfway between the middle and the end. You're gonna bring it under that arm. You're gonna reach back, thumbs still pointing together like our thumb to thumb pass, and out in the left hand. Now we're gonna switch under the right arm, arm is in front of your body, grab and pull it out. Let's try it a little faster, four times. We're gonna go in front, pass, left hand to right hand pass, switch, and switch. Now, a very similar pass. We're still gonna reach up like we're waving, but we're gonna slide that baton all the way to the end, and it's gonna come behind your back this time. That baton's gonna come up, so it points right over your shoulder. You're gonna reach up, bend that hand in close to your shoulder. If you reach it way out here, now you're gonna have the end of the baton. You wanna grab close to the middle so that when we connect it to something else, you can start twirling right away. So let's try the right hand again. Holding it by the end, bring it down, up behind that shoulder, hand comes up, grab, it's out in your left hand. Now we're gonna switch, slide it to the end, bring it behind the back, that baton comes up over the right shoulder, reach back, grab, pull it out. Let's try four, a little faster, it slides. Down, shoulder, pass, down, shoulder, pass, three, slide, four. There's one more, this one doesn't pass, but it's another shoulder trick, and it's a shoulder roll. Again, you're gonna hold it by the end. I'm gonna face front the first time. It's in the right hand, and it's going to stay in the right hand. You're gonna bring that baton, instead of behind your back, you're gonna bring it under the same arm and have it poke up over that shoulder. From here, you're gonna let go. You're gonna bring the elbow up just a little bit so that it's got a nice flat level. Bring the hand in front, grab. When I do it fast, it's gonna go over, catch. Over, catch. Let me turn to the side so you can see better. It's gonna come under, comes up, and then you look, the middle piece of tape is above my shoulder. If I'm down here, not enough baton's gonna come over. I've got too much behind me, it's gonna try to fall back. Bring it up, that middle piece of tape is over my arm, over, catch over, catch, over, catch, over, catch. And we can do the same one in the left hand. You bring it in. Again, that middle piece of tape has to be up over the shoulder, around and catch, over, whoops, catch. <laughs> I gotta watch my baton, not the video. Those are three different shoulder rolls and shoulder passes. Let's try some combinations with that. Make sure you know all of the tricks from level one because we're gonna use those tricks combining with the shoulder passes so that we can switch hands a little more smoothly. We're gonna start thumb to ball on the right hand. Behind the back, we've done in some of those other videos, we did our whips with the lunge. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna start whip and lunge. Right, left, right, left. Let's try that. And it comes front, lunge, out, together, pass it to the left hand, lunge out, loop, together, again to the right, out, together, and one more to the left. This time, we're not gonna bring our feet together, we're gonna pivot turn, pointing our right foot to the right, we're gonna bring that baton under our right arm, do our shoulder pass, 
and come back to the front. Let's try just that much. Four lunges with the shoulder pass. Six, seven, eight, front, lunge, and together. Out and in. Right hand, lunge, together, left hand, pivot, turn, point that toe. I just realized you can't see my feet. I got close so you can see the baton. In front, shoulder pass to the front from here. I'm gonna move closer again so you can see better. We're gonna do a big circle. So it's in the middle, you're gonna slide it to the end. Circle, we already know neck wrap from level one, but that's a horizontal twirl. We're gonna do a neck wrap vertically. We come around, lean forward so you get your neck in the line of that baton. Do your neck wrap and pull it out. When you do your neck wrap, you want to lean forward and look down. You don't wanna have your head up because then you can't wrap around that neck. Head down and it wraps right around and then you can stand back up. So, we finish the shoulder pass. Out, circle, lean forward, neck wrap. Out, now we're gonna do an around the world, which is similar to your whips. You're still gonna do your brush, Thumb to thumb pass over your head, out, flip the ponytail up, behind the back. And now we're ready to start again with the whole combination. First though, let's do it from the shoulder pass, out, circle, lean forward, neck wrap, and around the world. Loop, pass, flip, behind the back. Let's try that whole combination nice and slow. I'm gonna back up so you can see my feet. Five, six, seven, eight, whip right. Two, three, four, whip left. Six, seven, eight, right. Two, three, four, and left. Leave the foot out, pivot, and shoulder pass. Two, three, four, around, six, seven, eight, loop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that whole thing just a little faster and then I'm gonna show you some variations. Five, six, seven, and lunge out, two, three, four, lunge out, six, seven, eight, right, two, three, four, left, pivot, turn, pass. Circle and neck wrap, loop, pass, loop, behind the back. Couple of different things. You can either on those lunges leave your hand on your hip, or you may have seen mine was trying to come off. A little bit harder way to keep it clean, but looks nice is if you reach the arm out each time. Both arms out, both arms in. We don't have to only do the shoulder pass in the front. You can make it a little harder after that left, slide it to the end, go behind the back, and then into that neck wrap. Let's try it with, instead of in front, let's try it, but we're gonna pass behind this time. And five, six, seven, whip to the right. I'm gonna extend my arms, three, four, out, left. Six, seven, eight, to the right, two, three, four and left around behind the back pass circle neck wrap loop around the world behind our last variation is instead of doing the shoulder pass in front or the shoulder pass behind you can do a left hand over the shoulder catch that's your last option that's going to be your hardest one Let's do a different combination. We're gonna face the left, hold the baton by the ball down at your side. You're gonna do three little circles. It's gonna to come towards your shoulder first. It's gonna go one, two, three. My elbow is attached to my waist right here. I'm not letting my arm swing and I'm not letting my arm come out from my body. It's right down low, one, two, three, just the wrist turns up and then I let the baton fall. 
two, three. When we do that, let's do just some knees with it. You're gonna go left knee, let me back up so you can see me, left knee, right knee. On the third one, we're gonna put that heel down. You're gonna bring your baton up, like you're gonna do a shoulder pass, but we're just gonna to touch that baton. We're gonna to change direction. Touch, and you're gonna push the other way and do your shoulder roll and down, and then we can do it again. Loop, one, two, three, fake pass, push it out and over the shoulder and down. Let's try it a little faster with counts. Five, six, seven, eight, loop, one, two, three, four, push it out, six, seven, eight. The other option for feet is instead of doing knees, that's nice and easy, you can do little kicks. Keep it low with a nice straight leg pointed toe, kick left, right, loop one, step, loop two. On the third one, we just put that right foot down. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we want, we can go a lot faster with this and make it a cute little swing series. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. Those are some different tricks that are still at the novice level for our level one, level two girls. The shoulder roll might be a little hard for level one, but that's okay. Start pushing yourself. Try out some of these new things and see how you can connect them to tricks you already know. Keep twirling.